Hey everybody, Saturday morning and it's time to make some soap. So what I'm going to do today is something similar to what I did last week, just with a different color theme. I'm using Brambleberry's Pumpkin Souffle. I haven't used this in years, but oh my goodness. If you like the warm, sweet, you know, like, um, I don't know, pumpkin bread type smell, holy cow, this is one to get. Pumpkin Souffle from Brambleberry. It has like, I think it's 8.65% vanilla. It will turn almost to black. So the bottom base is going to be black. And that's going to have the majority of the scent. And then I'm going to swirl. I'll, I'll do a, a divoted uh, texture. And then I will also put some gold shimmer on that like I did last week. I'm like a lime. And then just pour a brown and the white on the top. And the white will be unscented and trust me you'll never know enough talk let's get busy i haven't used that fragrance in several years i really forgot just how good it smells here and just get very very basic emulsification just so things will hold together and that is good to start because I will have to stick blend some more For the two top colors, I'm going to want about 22 ounces, and this is one of those where close is good enough. Come on, scale. Twenty-two, but close is good enough. And let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. Okay, there's one. there's two and I'm going to set these out of the way because we're going to work on those later get the soap off my scale before it eats it up put the scale away so let's work on this black part right now the black base So I like activated charcoal when I use black. And since I'm going to want this to thicken quickly, I'm just going to go ahead and put the powder right in there and stick blend it in because I'm not too worried about trace on this. it's holding up well and I'm going to want to pour this I'm going to want it to thicken quickly I'm going to go ahead and put my fragrance in and 
This supposedly behaves very well. And it does appear to be doing so. Although, with all the stick blending, it is thickening and it's just the right consistency to get poured, but to start to set up. So, let's get into the mold quickly. Still very pourable. And we'll scrape all this yummy out. too thin to try to texture so I'll shut us down and I'll bring us back all right so just like last week I had just enough time to get a clean stick blender head and fill my mica sifter so let's texture this Dust it with some gold. Let's work on the top. Okay, now for the one, let's set this out of the way for a minute. Even though this is going to severely darken, I like to anchor it, as do most of you, with a brown color. I usually use cocoa powder, but this is some of the mocha brown that Lisa gave me in that huge shipment she sent me. So I'm going to put one of those in there. And I know a lot of you have used this for your browns. And some TD for the top, the white. thick on me. Okay, so let's stir these in a little bit and we'll get these poured. That will be unscented. Okay. So let's hit this to micronize those TD particles. in here, which I almost forgot. <laughs> and let's 
pour this because we are setting up. And there we have it. So, I'll see you probably later this evening for the cut. Although it'll be Sunday before I get it up. And you won't know anyway, so you'll see it when you see it. So everybody, thanks for watching. I will see you later. Bye. Okay, folks. 11 hours later. Yes, I said it. 11 hours later. It's ready to cut. And we have the slick, shiny sides. I can see my hand in the mirror. Not the mirror, but the mirror-like reflection in the soap. Let's cut it and see what we have. Let's just get right into it. Very nice, and the mica line shows up.
Okay, so yes, this is definitely a success. Exactly what I wanted it to do. So folks, you'll have a great rest of your weekend. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.